Uh, Glenn, you want to uh, just speak about how your pro day went today and uh, why this is such a great opportunity for you guys to kind of like put your talents on display for that last opportunity to get into Yeah, that. yeah, it's just great to be out here with these guys one more time, just to compete with these guys one more time. Uh, you know, everyone looked prepared, everyone looked sharp. Uh, just really proud of the way everyone came out here and just, you know, gave their all today. I think we you know, put on a good show for Duke and just proud of everyone and, and just happy to get out here one more time with these guys. Graham, you were in Indy for the Combine. Obviously didn't participate, but what did you learn while you were out there, obviously, to bring the pro day to day to help your, your stats? Yeah, um, you know, obviously a lot goes in the combine. It's not just the on-field deal. So I think I, you know, gained a lot um, of knowledge just from the formal interview process and, and all of that, what goes into that. And, and speaking to teams, I think, you know, I helped myself in that category. I think, you know, I got to show off some of my football IQ and how I understand the game and the passion I have for the game. So just... You know, overall, uh, you know, happy about the way that went. I think I learned a lot, got a lot of advice from some really good coaches. Um, so you know, obviously, I think that was a productive week, and then you know, it kind of allowed me to, to feed into this week and do some more on-field stuff here, and and um, just you know, come out and, and you know, have a good day, and, and just get to watch all these guys have a good day as well. What were what some of the teams you might have heard from? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I've talked to a lot of teams. Um, you know, just. You know, a lot of teams go back and forth about, you know, what position I'm going to play, and everyone has a little different preference. And um, so just, you know, getting to hear from a lot of teams and, and some of the feedback and, and, you know, being able to use that to help myself and keep improving, um, it, you know, is really kind of what I've heard from, from a lot of these teams. How would you compare and contrast the combine experience versus the pro day experience? Yeah, I think, you know, the only difference really is just, you know, here it's you're at Duke, right? You're in your home turf, you're on a field, you've practiced that 100 times with your your friends, you know, that you've been with for years. And, and so I think it's just a little more of a, you know, I guess a comfortable atmosphere, you could say. Um, you know, you're around everyone you know. And, and you know, it's just, it's about having fun, right? It's all quiet and tense out here. But, but you know, you try to loosen the mood and just have fun and compete with your guys. And I think that's really what it's all about. And that's why, you know, everyone loves coming back for, for Pro Day. Is this the quietest football moment you can think of in your experience? Probably one of them, yes. <laughs> Getting lined up to do a drill and there's just nothing but silence. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think it just you know speaks volumes to you know the leadership we've had uh, the past few years and you know kind of allude to the, the turnaround we've had in the last couple of years and and how we were you know be able to get from those you know seasons of two and three wins and then getting to nine and eight and you just you know that, I think that was on display today right that like just the the senior leadership we had and the talent we had in the senior class and just getting that core of guys together one last time I think you know. To, to show our abilities, I think you know we did just that, and we showed why we were able to improve um, as fast as we did. Graham, we're a month away from the draft, and obviously, you're not going to be in Detroit. You've already told us that you're going to be at home with the folks. What's it going to mean to you when you hear your name, whether it be first round, second round? Yeah, to know yeah. that you um, are in the NFL. You know, it's just going to you know be a lot. I'm really, just grateful to even be standing here with you guys. Um, you know, it, it's going to be a big moment. Obviously, I've worked really hard for this, and, and you know, really excited to to do that. But I'm, you know, I'm just excited to share that with you know the people who've always supported me and, and have always you know been there through, with me um, through all the ups and downs, and have kind of gone on this journey with me. So you know, it'll be a cool moment to share with them. Um, you know, but just trying to you know enjoy it day by day, not trying to think too much about that. To be honest with you, right now, and worry about that as it gets closer. Um, but yeah, just you know, it will be an exciting moment. But you know. Obviously, still a lot of work to do to get there, and um, just you know, looking forward to, to what's ahead. I know with offensive line, right? It's it's about what a team is looking for you. You know, what position they'd be having you fill in. Um, when you prepare for something like that, how how does that kind of um, flexibility factor into how you get ready over the, these past few months? Yeah, to be honest with you, you just got to make sure you add it all um, into your into your training regimen and, and what you do on a day to day basis. Like if you, you saw out here today, like. You know, they had us all snapping. They had us all in a right hand stance and a left hand stance. And I said, at the next level, that's what it's all about, right? It's, it's being able to move from spot to spot. And O line's a violent position.